Before we call the meeting to order, I want to do a proclamation real quick. <clears throat> I'm going to ask Everett and Betty Allen to come to the, the front. <clears throat> you can come on up here, Betty. Come on up here. Okay, so those of you that don't know, this is Everett Allen. I have a proclamation for him that is, whereas police officers of Henrietta stand watch over our citizens selflessly risking their lives to protect individuals, families, neighborhoods, and property against crime, and whereas it is important that all citizens recognize the duties, responsibilities, hazards, and sacrifices of our local law enforcement agency, and whereas the Henrietta Police Department, past and present, who by the faithful and loyal devotion to their responsibilities inspire Chief Everett G. Allen to seek a safe area to promote officer safety with a shooting range for officers use and quality qualify their ability in their hometown. In the city of Henrietta we dedicate the shooting range in honor of Everett G. Allen, former poli police chief that made a dream a reality for current and retired law enforcement to grow, maintain, and or improve for officer firing proficiency. <clears throat> Whereas we are here today to honor and express our appreciation to Everett Allen for his distinguished 32 year career with the city of Henrietta. I, Jennifer Munholland, as the mayor of the city of Henrietta, do dedicate the name, the Henrietta Police Department shooting range to Everett G. Allen shooting range. Regular meeting Tuesday, March 21st, 2023, 6.30 p.m. Civic Center, 115 South 4th Street. Ron, will you lead us in prayer, please? Yes. <laughs> Didn't even let you sit down with us. Father, we love you, and uh, we just thank you for the, another day you've given us and just uh, blessing us with this opportunity just to be a part of this community and just to uh, uh, live here in these United States. Uh, Father, at this time, I just... Uh, Raise up each and every one of these city council members to you to lead God direct in their upcoming decisions for the betterment of this community in the city of Henrietta. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Join us in the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. <coughs> Roll call, please. Shannon. Here. Michael. Here. Jana. Here. Christy. Here. Jennifer. Here. <coughs> Item number one, discuss and act on approval of consent agenda. A, financial reports for February 2023. <coughs> B, minutes of meeting held in February 2023. C, claims for the month of February 2023. Motion. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. 
Item number two, discuss and act on approval of payment to Bank of Oklahoma in the amount of $41,216.67 for the 2015 note series monthly payment. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon? Yes. Michael? Yes. Shanna? Yes. Christy? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Item number three, discuss and act on approval of payment to AEP, PSO, in the amount of $25,759.67. Motion to Roll call, please. Shannon. <coughs> Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number four, discuss and act on land deeded from Henrietta Economic <coughs> Development Authority, HEDA, to the city of Henrietta located at 419 West Trujan for the use of public parking. Item table from January 17th, 2023. So they got the... Ron went to HEDA. They have, a, their plan is to pave it, make it public parking, correct? Yes. And they did get it changed over. That's what this is about. That's what it Yes, they have the They have the, uh, Donna has the deed. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number five, discuss and act on approving $600 from hotel motel tax for cruise night for bounce house and sanitation stations. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Abstain. Jennifer. Yes. Item number six, Discuss an act to waive rental and deposit fees for Civic Center on April 5th, 2023 for Congressman Josh Breachin town hall meeting. He just wants to have like an hour long town hall meeting or something to that effect, a meet and greet. <clears throat> so why do we give it for free? Because we do to anybody that comes for that. So is that more of a campaign thing or is it uh, It's a meet and greet. He's interest? already the congressman. Yeah. He's already elected. He's elected, so he just wants to introduce himself and let everybody here get to know him. Okay. Make a motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number seven, discuss an act to allow <laughs> Lighthouse of Hope Evangelistic Center Pastor Jerry Page to use the property behind O'Reilly's Auto Parts on June 1st through June 13th, 2023 for the purpose of holding a tent revival. I see they are here. Do you, do you all want anything from them? Like My only concern was plan do they is? have uh, some liability insurance for their, cover their event on our property? Yes. Yes. Do, so that's something you can provide. To, you do have that? Mm -hmm. You can provide to uh, <clears throat> Donna? Yeah. So, I have no issue with it. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Approved. Good. Thank you. Item number eight. Discuss an act on Warren Cat repurchase agreement pertaining to the following machines owned by the city of Henrietta. I know Michael won't be aware of this because he wasn't on here when we did this, but we had a contract with them for a buyback. So they just actually, just an hour ago, got the details of it. Uh, equipment is hard to come by. Our backhoe, water uses it and sewer uses it when they need it. Sewer has one that's obsolete. They have been asking for a backhoe. It wasn't in the budget to do that. Warren Cat came back with all they were going to give us for the backhoe was $35,000 in trade. Our lease says that's not worth it. Keeping it in it's in great condition is well worth letting sewer have that one if that's what we're going to do. I was told it's even better than the board. Right. Apartments. Right. So. <clears throat> well, it's the one the water department uses every day. Oh, is it? Yeah. So the, that's the backhoe is the first one that you see. The trade-in was guaranteed for that price of $35,000. The, what they want to charge us was $154,658 for a new backhoe. 
all of them are in agreement that they don't want to do that right now. They would rather wait till next budget instead of burning all their budget up on the backhoe at this time, unless that's something the council wants to do while we can trade it in. But even trading it in is not a good deal because Arlie said he thinks we can get a better trade in than that. I'm reading the numbers I just got today. Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> that's why they don't match it. <laughs> that was what was yeah, that is what they first started with, and you're gonna see on the next one, which is actually the track hoe, the CAT 318E, it was 60,000 is what we were guaranteed because our guys take such good care of the equipment. They're gonna give us 135,000. So that actually will be a really good deal. What we would pay is $75,000 to get a brand new one. And then we could renew the contract to do the buyback again. <clears throat> so that one is. So they're going to give us how much for that one? Uh, 135000 <laughs> And the total price of a new one is 252939 So that's you know, about 75000 for a difference. And then. Do they new, have that? Huh? Do they have it available? Who? Kathy. One, yeah, it's it's on hold. They have to hold them for us. They have it right now, sitting waiting for us because we had this buyback, yeah. and it says on it for 30 days only because of that. <clears throat> the next one is the skid steer. On here it says they will give us twenty-seven thousand dollars. They come looked at our equipment. Forty-six five is what they said they would give us <clears throat> for trade-in, and that the brand new one is a hundred and one. 2015 so that's about 54,000 difference to get an, a brand new one and start the contract all over for how many years seven it's seven same as it was yeah that's what they kept it as the same as the one before and then they guarantee the buyback and that piece is available as well huh? and that piece is available as well yes they're all three pieces are on hold depending mm -hmm. what we decide tonight so even if we were to buy a um, a backhoe outright, we can do that at a later date. But they don't want us to trade it in. They okay. said we're not going to get enough money out of the trade in that they use it every single day. Backhoe. Yes. Okay. For the next one in there, you said they're going to give us 135. Yes. For it. Yes. But they want 252 939 for correct. A so let's just say 250, 30. Yeah. How does this work? How does it work? We have to. We have to. We have to. We that we can do so there's not it doesn't have to be a lump sum budget if you look on the pages that are included in here there is <clears throat> it would definitely require a budget amendment yeah and they want our equipment they already have it sold But they have them on hold for 30 days pending our approval and then they'll let it go. And we did this seven years ago when we bought all Correct. this stuff. Correct. Okay. And this is Probably the end of it. Easy. It ends this month okay. for the contract. So that's how come it came up. What was it for it? What was it on the 299D? It was on the last one. It was on the track hoe. 46.5. On the, oh, the trade-in uh, on the skid steer is forty-six five, mm -hmm. and new is one hundred and one thousand fifteen. Trade-in on the track was one hundred and thirty-five. Yeah. yeah. Trade-in on the track hoe was one hundred and thirty-five. So back hoe. So they won't give us a new one unless we trade. Correct. Because we were guaranteed that price for trade back, and the contract for the seven years for the new ones is only if we do the. Trade track or buy brand new without. So we're we're suggesting keep the backhoe because they're offering us 
35 on that. Right. And it's still in good. I actually asked and was told it was in. Yeah, it's in excellent condition. They even said that. But it's because of the hours, because we use it nonstop with all the water leaks that we've had. So we budgeted this fiscal year for these pieces of equipment? We didn't budget for them. There's room to move money around for them, but doing the monthly payment could um, work into his budget for our lease budget to not bust. We would still have to do a budget amendment right. to be able to get it in. So we have the funds to move it? Do what? We have the funds to move it there? Yes. We do. I mean, I feel like equipment, cars and everything, they get daily use, you're running a fine line of something still in good shape versus it's, it's junk and you're gonna get nothing. Right, when I talked to Arlie today, he was like, well, we can wait, you know, I don't have to have it right now. And I'm like, okay, but if three months down the line, it's trash, they're not taking it. And right now we have the guaranteed buyback. And those prices. With, with those prices. <laughs> I think with the big water department ones getting ready to have to have some work done on that. Do what? The big one that the water department has getting ready to have some work done on that. And it's something, not something I think that our mechanic can do. Have to... Yeah, the water, the, the water department is probably our our second best the sewer department one it's pretty much we can't get parts for yeah, it but, it's yeah but like water department street department i mean they're used daily non-stop yeah. you know as you know i mean right, right. yeah okay <clears throat> i make a motion we keep the backhoe cabinet 420f <clears throat> trade in the traco cat 318e Cat 299 D2 for the new buyback price. Mm -hmm. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Michael. Yes. Janet. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Item number nine discuss and act to appoint a council member for negotiations to the International Association of Firefighters. Local 2728 for fiscal year 23 24 bargaining agreement. I've been on everyone. I've been on everyone. That's what I'm talking about. You're off on Fridays, though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, we schedule on Friday and do it then. So you can do it. on approval of memorandum of understanding between District 25 District Attorney ATF, Shakota Police Department, City of Shakota, Ufala Police Department, City of Ufala, Almagi Police Department, City of Almagi, Henrietta Police Department, City of Henrietta, Morris Police Department, City of Morris, Almagi County Sheriff's Department, Beggs Police Department, City of Beggs, Dewar Police Department, City of Dewar, and the McIntosh County Sheriff's Office. We uh, got, John got five minutes before he walked in a letter from OMAG that says they're in full agreement that we're covered. This is something we've done, we've been a part of for years. It's just the DA right. wants a new, newly signed agreement. So make a motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Michael. Yes. Shanna. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 11, discuss an act to accept bids on mowing and belling of hay on various city properties. This is kind of deceiving because they are paying us. <laughs> so don't pick a loan. <laughs> yes, they are paying us to take the hay. We're paying him to take the hay. So we have three bids. Uh, Brenton Pure is $2,501. Chance Doty is twelve hundred, and Jeffrey England is two thousand. Two thousand even. 
Make a motion to accept Brenton Fewer's bid. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item 12, discuss and act on entering into executive session under 25, section 307B2, to discuss negotiations for the Henry and a Fraternal Order of Police, Lodge 115, for fiscal year 2023-2024 bargaining agreement, and under section under 25, section 307B1, to discuss the employment, hiring, appointment, promotion, demotion, disciplining, or resignation of an individual salaried public officer employee. I have a question before we do that. The second portion of that, was that to discuss the potential of hiring city managers that was listed in the newspaper? Yeah, it could be. Whatever we discuss in there, that's why it's a hiring, firing, appointing. Because that's the case, I have an issue with, uh, with it to begin with, whether we should <coughs> consider that or not. The way it was listed, I found out from the newspaper listing myself, whether it had to come before the council or should have, to me is two different things and the last minute to me before a two-week election for now to try to hire somebody real quick potentially it's to me just you know thinly veiled attempt of trying to get somebody in there and I feel like that uh, that portion should be tabled until our next regular scheduled mm -hmm. council meeting well I had <coughs> Three other on board that wanted it ran. Did three other on board? Did you ask them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. I, I so, well, I mean, we had, we, we've already solicited for applications, yet we've not sit down mm -hmm. as a council and discuss the criteria. That's what this is for. That's so what executive session is for. Why would we for. run a listing before we discuss it? You don't even know if anybody we just, we just, just And we just only advertising that freelance the city in the paper i mean that was it and that's not doing the, to me the town the city justice that's right, right. Yeah, yeah, I agree. to going out and effectively trying to seek a city manager in my opinion mm -hmm. yep and i'm just the one all person all right. We've got to go in anyway, right, to discuss the police yes. thing. You just don't want to discuss the other at all. I also have a problem with the timing of it as well, but I'm willing to I'm discuss I'm okay with it. discussing it. Yeah. Discussing. That's what it says. Yeah. Discuss it. The position. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. <coughs> Item number 13, discuss an act to reconvene into regular session. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Yeah. Jennifer. Yes. <clears throat> Item number 14, discuss an act on any action to be taken on matters discussed in executive session. So I'm going to go to 15 and come back to that one. Item 15, discuss and act on approval of fiscal year 2023-2024 collective bargaining agreement with the Henrietta Fraternal Order of Police, Lodge 115, and authorizing the mayor to execute said agreement. This was discussed in executive session. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. <coughs> Jennifer. Yes. Item 14, discuss and act on any action to be taken on matters discussed in executive session. Under 25, section 307B1, to discuss the employment, hiring, appointment, promotion, demotion, disciplining, or resignation of, an any, of any individual salaried public officer or employee. 
was discussed in executive session. Um, I make a motion um, before I finish. I want to say that this is a motion that I've wanted to make for four years. It's not something that was rushed. It's not something that was hasty. Was hasty. This man has worked for the for us for the last six years, right beside our current city manager, who has never wavered, never, never argued with requests, done an amazing job for the city. We have come so far the last eight years. He is out all hours of the night working with our street guys and our water guys. He never leaves them hanging um, or out to dry. He gets called all hours of the night because I personally call him all the time. He has given over 25 years of service to the city and he's capable and qualified to do this job. There's no class to go to that you get a certificate to become one of these. Um, I make a motion we appoint Ron Casey as city manager with a salary of 74.444 with a one-year contract and Donna goes back to clerk treasurer at the salary with the raises for the last seven years, six years, six, six years. Seven. With the adjustments and bring to the council next time. Yeah. With the adjustments and to bring that, those numbers to the council. And Shannon second. <clears throat> Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Michael. No. Shannon. No. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. <laughs> Item number 16, discuss and act on any new business. I just want to say something. It's really not new business. Ron's our new city manager. Ron, me voting no was nothing for you personally. It was just about due diligence on what I think that we should have done as a council. Now that you're city manager, I'm 100% behind you and will work with you every way I can to help you because that's you're our current city manager. So Thank you very much. And absolutely, I already talked to Ron about my no vote, but I'm 100% behind Ron. I was shocked. I've been trying to appoint him for six years. I have. I wouldn't be here when somebody else left, and, but I just didn't feel like time was right for this, and that was my reason for no vote, but I'm 100% behind Ron. Any new business? Sure. Item 17, adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Michael. Yes. Janet. Yes. Christine. Yes. 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 He's got to go. He's been trying to leave for an hour. Henrietta Municipal Authority, regular meeting, Tuesday, March 21st, 2023, 6.30 p.m. Civic Center, 115 South 4th Street. Roll call, please. Shannon. Michael. Here. Jana. Here. Christy. Here. Jennifer. Here. Item number one, discuss and act on approval of consent agenda, A, financial reports for February 2023, B, minutes of meeting held in February 2023, C, claims for the month of February 2023. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number two, discuss an act on approval of payment to ORF-08-0015-DW in the amount of $37,962.14 for monthly payment. Motion to. Second. Motion to approve. <laughs> Roll call. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number three, discuss and act on approval of agreement between Commercial Power Solutions, LLC, and the City of Henrietta for the scheduled maintenance of the emergency power system. Is that for the list stations? And, uh, so what those are for, the generators? That's the all stations. the generators, yep. yes. For the water plant, sewer okay. plant, yes. Uh, $5,740. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number four, discuss and act on approval of payment of invoice number 221179-12 to Myers Engineering in the amount of $7,397.60 for engineering fees. CDBG slash REAP emergency water main replacement near railroad from Corporation Street to Nelson Avenue. That's the line they just replaced. They did a heck of a job, too. Um, I can motion Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number five, discuss and act on approval of contractor's application for payment number three to Or Construction Incorporated 
in the amount of $67,376.70 for water line replacement from Corporation Street to Nelson Street. <coughs> So that's the last one. They, the last they finalized it, yeah, and he did the check off with them, and everything was perfect. Yeah, we did the final walk through, and it's all good. Second. We'll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number six discuss and act on approval of short form agreement between the City of Henrietta owner and Myers Engineering Consulting Engineers Incorporated for the Fourth Street Booster Pump Station. So this is for the study, the design, final design, bidding and negotiation, construction phase, and engineering survey and staking is what that entails. For the water to the hill. Yes. The next one kind of goes with it too. Yep. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number seven, discuss and act on approval of short form agreement between the City of Henrietta owner and Myers Engineering Consulting Engineers Incorporated for the replacement of the 750,000 gallon West water storage tank project. So the, both of these go hand in hand that we talked about. The pump station can pump the water up the hill so they're not having to manually do it and the storage tank would hold it up there so they have backup when, when the lines are out. This is also for the study yes. phase, preliminary design, final design, Construction phase, construction surveying. This is not actually building. No. This is no. for design the and development. Finding and looking. Yes. And the amount of the total. I guess that total? Go and I look at many numbers. What's the total? It's 150 plus 42 plus 80. <coughs> yeah. Engineering services is 150,000. Construction, construction survey and staking services 42,000. Resident project representative services 80,000. So this is the much needed water. What do you call it? Storage. Storage. <laughs> Not tower. Not a tower. Tank. Water storage tank. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number eight, discuss and act on any new business. No new business. Item nine, adjourn. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Michael, please.